Hey, we just shot this fun video over on Facebook Live where Mel and I go through 2018 and talk about our favorite products that we launched. They are so exciting. We launched so many new things and it's kind of interesting to see what we love. We launched more than 50 design stamps. You got to come check out which our favorites were. Lots of good stuff. Good morning, welcome to Beeducation Live, Facebook Live. I'm Mel McKay, product manager here at Beeducation, and this is Lisa Niven Kelly, Good morning. CEO. And where I'm so excited because what we're sharing with you today, as it's the end of the year, is our favorite items. I don't know what Lisa's favorite items are. She doesn't know what my favorite items are that we launched in 2018, which I think was our biggest year of new product. Do you know how many? No. Which is funny because I'm in charge of that too. I do know. You I'm going to look it up while you talk because I wrote it down. I feel like we launched more design stamps this year than any other year. I know that we launched more holiday blanks than any other year. I know how many design stamps we launched. You do? 53. Wow. That's awesome. That's yeah. pretty impressive. Do you own every, every one of those? <laughs> okay. I wrote this down. 53 design stamps. And here it is. 381 products. Wow. I know. I mean, a lot of those, I was looking at it, or we launched the state stamps in three sizes. So that's like 150 right there. Um, Did we really? This year we even large, launched the larger ones. Yeah. Huh. I knew we launched the five millimeter, but that's exciting. Basically, we've been busy. You and oh. Mel. We have been busy. We've been we very busy. We come up with everything. Mel and I test everything. I photograph everything. She writes all the descriptions. I mean, there's no big fancy team behind us. You're looking at it right here. <laughs> and we were talking this morning about how it was so hard to pick our favorite things because we love everything. And we love everything because we picked it. You know, we don't it's go true. like, oh, we hate that, but it'll sell. Let's buy it. You know, we just don't. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Well, and I was also excited. So I, I picked physically the items. Then I started going through our bin for all of the samples that we have. And as I'm looking at all the samples, I was like, oh, I should have picked that. I should have picked that. And there are a couple things that aren't up on the link because I did have to show it, even though I didn't formally say it was one of my favorites. But I saw the sample. I was like, that it's hard. is my it's favorite. Hard to, it's hard to choose. Yes. Oh, yes. Someone said they liked your Christmas tree earrings. Camiche. Yes. Mel made these, and I reminded her that she had them, but she already had those on, so I put them on. And they're really light, and, and they're making fun noises. But they're kind of poking me a little bit. Oh, they are? You've got to be careful going in for a hug. Well, I think today I'm going to make some, we have smaller snowflake ones, a little smaller than that, with a little bit more rounded edge. Um, and I'm going to do the snowflakes on the snowflakes with the crystal setter. Yeah, that'll be really cute, too. And lightweight, because they're all aluminum. Okay, um, let's get to it. So I have links up here that I haven't looked at. I put all my favorite products on a link and then all your favorite products on a link. And if you are on our newsletter, you'll get a link pretty soon. We, we're sending out a newsletter that kind of recaps all of 2018. It's super fun. If you're not on our newsletter, head over to the homepage. There's a link there or Angela will put one up in the comments. But Angela's put together this really fun newsletter and it has a picture of everything that we launched. And, and then a lot of fun stuff that's happened throughout the year. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. I don't think I've seen it yet. Oh, you haven't seen it? It's no. It's so cute. She's so good. Awesome. I love it. Are you going to go first right now? No, or... you're going to go first. Oh, I love that because I'm not a very patient person. These are my design stamps. And the feet, that what I want to let you guys know is on those butterflies, so I did the small monarch and wait, the large on, hang monarch. On. Let me pull it up. Hang on, hang on. Okay. I have wanted a new butterfly, like some realistic butterflies. I want to say for six or seven years because we have so many beautiful flowers and people always add hearts and stars to a name. And I thought, what is it? It's also perfect just to add a little butterfly. Like who doesn't love a butterfly? I know. So we got the little one and the big one and I'm just, I'm crazy about both of yeah, them. Yeah, they've sold really well. People have loved them. I think they look great. Both sizes kind of speckled all over above a name or you could just have your butterflies and flowers and it looks so pretty. So I was very excited about those. Secondly, I think are the stamp that nobody knows how great it is are those the two paper airplanes. Um, I think we have a five millimeter and an eight millimeter. You guys, these are, I, I feel like people, you should buy them because you use a little dash, the paper airplanes flying through the air. Look you at can, this little sample here. Yes. With you, a little heart. Here. You can use it with a little it. heart. You can use it to, for when you're giving someone a necklace who lives far away, you can give it to the college graduate who's moving away. 
Um, you can do it with the state stamps from Michigan to California, throwing the little... Look at with the clouds and your butterflies. Exactly. I mean, this paper airplane, I just think it's so whimsical. My anticipation is it's going to be like as big as the dandelion and fluff because a paper airplane is like, it just says dream, right? Yeah. So I love that. If you don't have, if you're wondering what new stamp should I buy, buy the five millimeter paper airplane. It's crisp. It's beautiful. It's whimsical. I'm excited about it. Also, a long time coming were our moons, which we just turned on a few months ago. So I picked the sliver face moon, which has a woman in the moon face. I say woman because why does that have to be a man on the moon? I mean, if there's anyone on the moon that needed to get away from everyone, it was a woman. So I think it's there's a woman on the moon. <laughs> there's a lot she of needed a break. <laughs> so we have a well, we had a full face moon. We have a regular like a six millimeter and eight millimeter. Let me pull up your list again. And um, the sliver moon. I love these. Okay, here's what's funny. You picked every moon except the moon that I picked. Oh! <laughs> that is so funny. I like the moon. I like that circular moon face. But I know you really want, you wanted that the moon face, which is so flipping cute, especially with the mountains and the trees. But I think I've wanted... Oh, that was it. My first tattoo ever was a... Um, a half moon or a sliver moon. I don't know why they call it a half moon. It was everybody's first tattoo. You think so? Uh, it was almost mine. It's it's now it was started out as such a small moon and now it's just become a huge moon. <laughs> no, and we <laughs> can we can we see that? No, absolutely not. This is something I got. Can I see at it after 15. the show? This is a thirty year old tattoo. Where is it? Uh, in a place where it would become larger. <laughs> but but I still have a I have I can a. Hear Angela laughing together. <laughs> I still love moons. I love moons. Yeah. I do too. And yeah. we have we do have one more moon coming. We keep talking about doing a bigger one with a really detailed face. That's, that's I think that would be awesome. The list. I think that'd be great. And lastly on my design stamps. I never thought Ferris wheels would become so popular, but Ferris wheels for me, I've, I've like, I love everything that has to do with the carnival and the circus and funnel cakes and clowns and all of it. And this is the year I feel like Ferris wheels are popular. So we were able to do the Ferris wheel Yay! with the carnival tent. And I think it turned out really beautiful. It's one of our largest stamps ever. Yes. I've been meaning to do a couple earrings on like one inch circles and then have the um, small... Uh, crystal setter just kind of on the outside so it looks like the ferris wheel is all lit up oh gosh i want to do that right now i might even have to do it today i just got i'll redo your christmas present Ooh. so that was an exciting stamp for me too and then i also have some blanks but i can talk about my blanks when we uh, pan down on the camera what do you think yeah okay okay you want to go over to a little bit of my list yes yes okay let me go back to the screen i know you like the moon face <laughs> All right, here's my list. Ooh. All right, so these are not in any particular order, but I'll go start with design stamps since that's where Mel was. I was looking through all our design stamps and these four represent a bunch of stuff for me, which is why I like them. The truck, we launched, I thought it was 2017, but it wasn't. It was early 2018, let me click on it for you. And this guy sold so much better than we thought. Like, Mel really and I did. are often like, this paper airplane's going to sell like crazy. And then maybe it doesn't. Or this truck is never going to sell, but whatever. People are asking for it. Sold like crazy. Mm -hmm. And what I what this represents to for me is this is a truck where I, I saw a cool truck. I took a picture and I sent it to my graphics designer and she drew the outline. So it's like we're now starting design stamps that are really kind of realistic, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's fun. So that truck sold really well, and I love it because I love old cars. Well, I have to interrupt because I didn't think it would sell super well either, but my favorite thing was seeing what you guys put in the back of the truck. Like, people would do their flowers coming out of there and the trees yeah. coming out of there and a bunch of pumpkins. A and yes, there were so many things. I thought, whoa, I, I now I'm in love with the truck. I know. It's so fun. And, and then we'll take a pause to plug our Facebook group if you're not in it. Go over to beachcation.com. Community face or stamp... <laughs> Beachcation.com community, metal stamping and beyond. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, that's just a group that we have. We talk about all kinds of stuff, and that's where we saw a lot of designs. As once these came out, people are posting tons of pictures, and it's so fun to see. Okay, let's go back over here. Um, now, the tree, I love this tree, um, but what this was exciting for me is it was the first 
stamp of this size. Mm -hmm. So this opened up a whole new thing for us because we always want to do long, thin stuff, but then it has to go on that huge stamp like Mel showed of the um, Ferris, wheel. Ferris wheel. And so this is great. It's a lot easier to control. And I just love, love, love this guy. Mm -hmm. Super pretty. I do love that one. And I like I like peppering that with the winter and the evergreen trees. And yeah, it looks like a real a good forest. One here. Love that Trees, so much. bears. Bears I almost chose too. I do love the bears. <laughs> Belinda says, I forgot about the trucks and the echinacea. The echinacea yeah. is pretty fantastic. Well, echinacea is next. So for me, the echinacea, I love it because... It's, again, really realistic. Like, that was the first of our realistic flowers that we launched. And they've been really, really popular. And we're probably going to continue this spring with more of them. But mm -hmm. that Echinacea, I did a report of the 53 stamps mm -hmm. that we launched this year. Um, and the Echinacea is the biggest seller. Even a bigger seller than ones that launched really early in the year. And it launched kind of late. You know, so it doesn't have it didn't have much time on my report, and it just almost doubled everything. I mean, that stamp wow. has been insane. And this year we have it coming out in a stamp that'll work on stainless in a different size. In a different size, mm -hmm. just you wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, my other fave was the moon, the full face moon. This is the full face moon is a lot like the boom box in that I love it, but it hasn't sold very well. It hasn't, I actually didn't check to see that it hadn't. I, I, I love it as well. And I think my favorite part about it is that we were able to do it so tiny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's sold, it's sold well. It's not where I'm oh, closing out. It's cute. sold plenty. I mean, it's done well, but I thought it was going to go like gangbusters, just like the boom box, which we actually discontinued because no one bought it. And we brought it back because I was sad. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm just checking out on comments. Everyone's saying, oh my gosh, it took me months to get the Echinacea. I know it was always sold out. We it were was. Like, it was very popular. We always buy about 200 and that dude was gone so fast. Mm -hmm. Love them all. Love them all. Um, so good. Okay. So. A moon and sun all in one. I just saw it. That was a suggestion. I love that idea too. I think that's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. That'll be a next big one too. Which that's the other thing I gotta tell you guys pop up there. Like tell us in your comments, tell us in the group stuff you want to see. Yeah. That's where we, it's because we see so many people asking for certain things that we go, we got to do this. Yeah. And, it, and what I, people have busted me in the group cause I say it's on the list and they're like, what's this list? But really what it comes down to for us is if it's a very specialized stamp, we're probably not going to run it because we, we have to do huge batches and we want to do stuff that's going to appeal to a large community. So, um, give us your ideas though. And we will, we will take a look. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see here. Those are my favorite stamps besides these two fonts. Well, definitely Cowgirl Carnival. Which, let me pull them up. That one, well, because it's the carnival too. I know, I know. That I felt was like a long time coming. I've wanted to do a font a lot like that for very, a long time. Yeah, very similar to the Echinacea. This one sold really quick and so we're out of it because it takes our manufacturer quite a long time to make them. So if we misjudge, we're just kind of screwed for a little bit, but we're out of it for now, but they're on their way. But it's so fun. We went bef between naming it something that had to do with car carnival and something that had to do with cowgirl. And then we're like... Shh. Let's just call it Cowgirl Carnival. It's perfect. I love it because like, it reminds me of the rodeo signs that you see. And it also yeah. does remind me of like the when you see signs in the carnival too. I mean, it's just like a billboard. It's just so fun and But playful. it goes so well with like floral. Oh, and then wow, yeah. Super Christmassy looking, right? Like on mm -hmm. the snowman and all that. It it just totally works. It's so fun. It just lends itself, I think, to a sign. Like yeah. you just, you, and, and I like that it's very large, but if you don't have to move a lot of metal because it is open. So it appears like you have a really yeah. large letter, but it's not difficult to stamp. Yeah. And let me tell you, we spent a lot of time on those letters. I actually spent most, most of two flights to Europe. <laughs> I mean, to flight to Europe and a flight back redrawing them because I was kind of obsessing on them. But I think they came out really, really good. Mm -hmm. really Definitely. Good. Okay, we're cruising along here. Everybody's still saying hi. I love it. I love it. Um, keep it coming. Angela loves that font. Yes, she does. That's one, too, that I think if you're if you're wondering, like, I don't know if I'm going to buy the whole font, just do your last name. I mean, do the letter of your last name. Um, yeah, or if you sell them individually. Or, or your first letter, yes, of your first name, because I do love just having the M. Like, I'm like, I will, you know. I mean, I'm lucky my last name and first name is both M, but, and most of the people in my family are M's. 
Maybe we just did that to save on money where you could just get one stamp. You're very smart. <laughs> They're very thrifty. <laughs> Darn, I should have named my daughter an M too. Oh well, we'll buy I'll buy an M and an R. I'm gonna show you I got too excited about one of the blanks that I love. Okay, so here's my blanks. Okay. I have wanted a mermaid tail forever. This one's in pewter. You can turn it over and, and stamp on it completely plain so it doesn't have the lines on it or have the little mermaid lines. I think it also, oh, look at that one. Let's look on the alt. What a coincidence. It says Melinda. Oh, wow. You should keep it. It's, I should. I think I already did. Uh, you could put the little mermaid scales on there. You could do crystals on there. I love that it also could be a whale tail if you just like ocean stuff and you don't believe in mermaids. I mean, who doesn't believe in mermaids? But still, um, love this. Love this. It's it's already it's already done. You don't have to do any work yeah, on it. It's, it's so beautiful. Fully formed. That's her favorite. That's her favorite. That's my favorite. And then at the same time, we also designed a little seashell that I just thought was so cute too. And I even think that the two of them would be cute together on like a long. Oops, there that goes. Uh, on, a long, on a long necklace as well. Those are two of my favorite blanks, which haven't quite caught on yet because I think we launched them after summertime, and I know that those yeah. are probably popular summertime Yeah, I can't blanks. wait for spring. We have so many fun ideas. And I'll just jump in here since you have the picture up. That deco leaf we had in copper, um, Kate requested this blank when we did her soldering class, and it sold like gangbusters, the copper one. When I found out we could get it in aluminum because it's featherweight. Um, I was so excited. And the aluminum has been crazy popular as well. In fact, if you look at, um, I think that on Instagram in uh, stamp metal jewelry, um, the second book, yeah. my sister just did one where she used the, um, power punch flyers and, and punched out a little circle and did earrings with circle in the center. Oh guys, gosh. These so are good. so awesome as earrings and they're so lightweight, but they're great. Like also, you know, just as a, a pendant, I'm crazy about the shape and you guys have been crazy about the shape too. Well, funny you should choose that because I didn't choose the shape, but I did, I did choose this sample because it had the realistic flowers on it. It's amazing. I know. It's so cute. I made a little vase there. And this has our new stamp that we just launched this month, this guy right here. The three leaves. The stem with three leaves. Yes. Yeah. I love that. I mean, it's, that is a cool blank. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay. What was your other favorite blanks now that we have this? Well, now that you're down. panning down here, you guys, we, we launched two campers, oh. these pewter campers. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Like it's cute as an ornament. It's cute as a pendant. It's cute as any gift. It doesn't have to be a holiday or it could be a holiday. I've seen people use the crystal setter on it. There you put just about every flower we launched this year. Love it. Yeah, there's a lot growing on this guy. It's getting engulfed. I thought that was so cute. I did want to show this. Can we show the sample of the oh, this yeah. guy? Because this is, you guys, that's such a cute bracelet. Yeah, it is. So this is just, we sell this chain by the inch. And this is this blank that we shaped with the bracelet bending pliers. And it fits really well on your wrist because of that shape. Let me go out a little bit so we can show like how nice that works right there. That really lays well. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's cute. Here, I just wanted to show an example of, because um, I, I had the Cowgirl Carnival as well, the letters. I just thought, like, I mean, you said it looks good on Christmas. It looks good on um, names, anything, monogram. Well, this is actually a perfect one because my other favorite font is our new four millimeter kismet which works on stainless that and that's so what this one is on. here oh gosh it's gorgeous i'll show this that four millimeter we, since we have it in the design space there the way that they are so tapered down to the letter i am not able to make a mistake when i stamp on that oh my gosh they're amazing they they really are a game changer they're not cheap, but they are worth it. Chime in if you guys have this set. Tell us what you think about it. My favorite thing about this is, and if you show just how how tapered it is, you will you will not mess up any blanks when you use these. Because I know, because you can see exactly where you're laying exactly. it. Exactly. You can get so the letters gorgeous. so close together. And one of my most, the biggest frustrations I have is if I'm doing a long name and then you get everything perfect and then you go to put the E on the end and it's just a little bit too far off to the side. You tell people you meant to do it and it was supposed to look artistic and not engraved, but it makes you mad. Yeah, it makes you real mad. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even choose, I forgot about this little design stamp holder, this plastic guy here. We launched that this year and they're super cute. They're branded with our name and I like to use them to hold, I mean, this is uppercase and lowercase in every single spot. Mm -hmm. So it, it, save space. You don't have a, one for uppercase, one for lowercase, and everything's just that's smart. in there all nice and tidy, huh? That's perfect. Yeah, that's very, very smart. Cute. All right. Those were all my blanks. That's it. 
That's and all I your favorite s- things? No, that's not true. I also had, which I think was in the link, I loved that we launched a sandbag that you could actually put the ring mandrel oh, in. I thought let's go back to that. That was very smart. Um I also thought you could use... And that was the concept of the gal who makes those, who is listening right now. I love that. That was so brilliant. And you guys... We see you, girl. These leather sandbags are so beautiful. I mean, they're just... They're soft. The colors are so vibrant. Um, It's such a great gift to even just give to yourself. I I love that you could have um, the large one and then have your ring mandrel one. And we'll come back to us. I thought for sure she was going to pick the red one because we have that in red. No, we have this in teal, but we have a new sandbag in red. We're sold out right now, but we'll get them in really soon. And she... I do like red, them. as you can tell. If if we had she this... She made me put on her red lipstick. It's, it's the same one I'm wearing. It's, we're actually sponsored today by Rihanna's Universal Red Lipstick. Everyone in the office put it on. We wanted know, to see if it really did it universally look good on everyone. That would be funny, huh? And it really does. It does. Um, okay. So what that's you, all your favorite things. Those can are all you my pick favorite no, things. Can you pick a number one? Pressure's on, do it. Don't even think about it, just choose it. It's probably the Ferris wheel. I knew it! I do, I love Ferris wheels it so much. It should be, it's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Mel drew that by hand, it's perfect. All right, let's Thank you. see. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see what else. Okay, here's my list. Um, Flatback Crystal Setter. And 1.8, that was a big favorite of mine. It has sold so well. It's on these earrings that I'm wearing. Mm-hmm. It's on this ring that Mel stole. I just saw it on her hand. Oh, yeah, I took it up because that I was, I wanted to be able to add that too, but I was like, gee, Mel, you already picked, you know, 12 items. You can't add another one. But I too, I too love that. Look at that. It's That one works with so many of the design stamps with that size. Where that necklace why aren't we wearing that see we make all these samples and then they just sit in a drawer i don't know oh and here it is that's the other camper oh, i love it so much so, cute. so we sell it individually like that or we sell it in a kit form okay my other product which there's a picture here but the picture is not very exciting is the jacks products because those are kind of game changers. Why do you like those, Lisa? Well, Mel, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> if you, for putting black or dark or whatever in the impressions of your stamped pieces, we've used a variety of stuff for a long time, including ink, nail polish, um, enamel paint, proper oxidizing solution, that sort of thing. But really the thing that'll stay the best is something that has a chemical reaction with the metal. Everything else is just a layer on top of the metal. So some stay is great, but it still has the um, chance of chipping out or fading off or rubbing off or something like that. So the Jax products are great because it does that. It has a chemical reaction with the metal. We have it for aluminum. The pewter is like, oh, I love the pewter one. And we have it for silver. They work great. <laughs> um, okay, let me go back to my list here and see what else I have. Oh, the coasters. I knew you were going to pick those. That's And the reason I, I didn't pick them, because I was like, Lisa will pick these. Yeah, I love it. In fact, I've got a whole a whole table over there. Mel and I, you can't see us. We're not on camera. But we just looked over there. There's a whole bunch of them um, ready to be made into holiday gifts. My favorite was the one that you framed, as you think it's amazing. Oh, oh. this one. Yeah, that's on my wall at home. Which I can't believe we didn't mention the... Um, fans as well that I think you did you I think one. I did I yeah. shouldn't mention it out loud but you but that's a perfect example of it that with two additional fans with our, our the fan last year was our best-selling stamp and the fact that that one actually fits in I mean that's gorgeous now let's be clear I did not make this this was made by our friend Harold who's known as the brass stamper look him up on Instagram you will die he sent it as a gift he is so Talented. I mean, mm-hmm. look at the perfection there. It's amazing. Crazy, crazy cool. So those are really, really fun. Um, I had one more thing I looked up that I wanted to share. Oh, I think it was the design stamps. Let me just pull it up really quick. Um, of those 53, I said the Akinacia sold the best, but there were some top, top sellers, like by far, and I thought it was interesting. So let me break it down for you guys. Mel can sing for you while I'm looking it up. Happy holidays. Choice. Happy holidays. Well, while you're looking that up, I have to say, I had forgotten to do the link, um, but the Nouveau Flower, which was, which was, it was kind of funny how I love the Ferris wheel and the Nouveau Flower, 
which is also a very large three eight three fourth inch yeah. um, shank. Whoa, did that one turn out pretty amazing? Oh, it's so. Pretty. When I was looking through our samples, I was like, "How did we get that many flowers on one stamp?" Where it's like it's like eight do you flowers. Wanna, do you want to show it? Oh, yeah, you guys, because it's just too fantastic. So here is. Ooh la la! Can I even go like this? Yeah. Look at that, you guys. That's oh. one stamp. Oh, and that's a new Blake stamp. I was going to say that, too. And yeah. that's the Blake font that I think looks so perfect. Because it looks like a nouveau yeah. um, font. But so that, great. all of that is one stamp, you guys. I just thought it was pretty special. Yeah. It's, the bigger the stamp, it, it's like you're falling. Uh, the bigger the stamp, the harder it is to impress because it's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. But that one is really, really sharp and there's not too much detail. But it works best on, like, aluminum or pewter. I love that. Okay, so of those 53 stamps, the most popular by far were the trucks, the Mountain Range, oh, yeah. which is DS712, Echinacea, and I will put a link to this up, unless Angela's probably doing it faster than me, um, the Echinacea's DS730, and the Stem with Leaves. That's a really recent one, and it sold like crazy. I'll pull it up. Oh, in a wow. DS717, and the Whimsical Fan. Those were by oh, far, cool. like, our biggest sellers. I'm not surprised the stem with leaves went because we, we were missing that in the whole repertoire with all of the yeah. flower faces that we had. So I think that's a great stamp to invest in. Yeah, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. And we designed it so that you could put multiple flowers on it. Like, at the top you could put one. Um, there's a little sprig over here that comes out that you could put on it. And you can also flip it upside down. I love that. And it works the other way. We put a lot of thought into our stamps, don't we, Mel? That's so beautiful. Yeah. It's super cute. Super cute. Lovely job. You guys. So good. We're not going to see these people till next year. Oh, have a merry, merry Christmas and a great New Year's. And yeah, next year, 2019. 2019. Happy Kwanzaa, too, if you celebrate that. I know that's the day after Christmas. Or if you don't celebrate anything, have a nice couple days off. Right? Exactly. Like you I probably agree. have the days off. I agree. Oh, this has just been such a crazy, crazy year for us, everybody. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to cry on camera. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> I'm tears of joy kind of gal. But it's been such a fantastic year. We've launched so much stuff. Our community has grown so much. You guys are watching us. Our Facebook group has blown up. It's just, we're just having a blast. We are lucky to call this work. Thanks, you guys, so much. Yes. All right, so first and third Wednesdays, or Wednesdays is What's New Wednesday. First and third Thursdays is our show like this. And we'll see you next year. See you next year. Bye.